What's going on fam? It's your boy Mosey here, back with another episode of Mosey Reacts. On this episode of Mosey Reacts, I have episode 72 of One Piece. But before I get into today's video, it's time for Nakama of the Week. And Nakama of the Week goes to Jordi Albert. Um, so again, the perks with Nakama of the Week is that anytime they comment on one of my videos, I'll go ahead and pin it. So that way they get to share their thoughts, feelings on that episode, what's to come, maybe something that's already happened or whatever they want to talk about that day. Um, it's sort of like their little news feed for the uh, One Piece community. Um, so definitely check out their comments to see if they have anything interesting to say. And then speaking of any things interesting to say, it's also time for comment of the day. And comment of the day comes from Jacqueline Cornejo. And uh, her comment was actually a two-parter. Um, the first part of her comment was, hey, you got that finger, you got that finger, finger fruit power. And all I'm going to say is that uh, I remember when I was like, 13 or 14 years old going into Spencer's and going into the back section and seeing this. Do I need to say more? Um, and then uh, the second part of her comment was, what do you think about the giants and how big their ships would be to carry them? Um, so right off rip, I, I really am liking their aesthetic. Um, it looked like they were kind of having like a Viking S aesthetic. I'm not for sure if it's that or if they're like a medieval type um, giants. I, I'm not really sure. I couldn't really uh, clarify. Um, I'm honestly hoping for more medieval. Um, one of my all time favorite video games is The Witcher 3. I love playing it. And I like the aestheticness of, of like um, of that time era. And it sort of fits like almost like a Viking sort of. Um, so I'm hoping it's sort of like a mesh of the two, sort of a Viking, but also like medieval. We'll see. I'm not for sure. I, I'm sure I'm going to love them regardless. And then how big their ship would be to carry them. I don't think they have ships. Um, I was thinking about it and I was like, okay, yeah, they probably do have ships because they're pirates. But then the more I thought about it, the more I was like, there's just no way they could have ships. If they do have ships, it's, they're just, it's, it's plot and they're just doing it because they're pirates and they're and they're on the sea. Sorry, I just heard a motorcycle. Um, because, like, logically, like, it, the ship would be so big, there's no way it could stay afloat. Like, I know we have, like, cargo ships that are extremely heavy, but I feel like at some point, boats have to be so big they would they would sink. Because, um, like, the giants are huge. Like, we saw um, Brogy get bit by a, a T-Rex, and he was, like, twice the size of a T-Rex. And then you got to think of the size of like a typical pirate crew. So like uh, buggies, Arlongs, Dons, they all had like what, 15 to 20 pirates on the ship. So the, the giant's pirate ship would have to be big enough to carry 15 to 20 giants, but not just to carry them, but to also have enough room for them move, to move about comfortably, have their beds, their bathrooms, their kitchens, things like that. So I'm just like, there's just no way they could have a ship. It would be so massive. I don't think it would actually, it would just sink. I just, and also I was also thinking like, they're so big. Couldn't they just swim to islands? They don't even need boats. Like a 20 mile a sail for us is going to take us a couple of hours, I'm guessing. Right. But for like a giant, they could just complete that swim in a couple of minutes, maybe a half hour. So I'm just like, maybe they don't even need to, since they're so big, they can just swim from island to island. Um, but yeah, that, 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 that's my thought process as of now. Hopefully it will change. Not hopefully, but it might change once we get more backstory. We'll see. But I do appreciate the comment, Jacqueline. And if you guys want a chance to be comment of the day, feel free to drop a comment down below. And then before I get into today's episode, um, this is just a daily reminder that this is not a market substitute. You should always support the official release. Okay, his sword was just bent there for a second. Damn! I don't know, should I be impressed by that or not? Like, they're giants, so is that... It's really hard to judge Titan's fights, because, like, if Luffy went through that rock or Usopp, oh crap, that's an attack. But that rock is like, it's not that big compared to a tight, a giant. So does that even hurt him or? They're pretty agile for being so big too. Hmm. 
Nah, we ain't going nowhere. We want to watch this. That's where I kind of did. I don't really like that they're fighting. Like they have no reason why they're fighting, but yet they're gonna go this hard for this long. <laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, like, I, I'm sorry, but your analogy doesn't make it seem like it's pride. It makes it seem like it's more ego. Hmm. To teach his own, I guess. Really? I mean, I'm down to see it, but I'm surprised you want to go. Holy God. I don't know why, but her voice is just annoying to me. Making her laugh, it's just now rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah, I know that was fucking hurt. <laughs> See, yeah, no, I, I'm not fucking with this fight no more. Seven thousand, seven hundred, seventy thousand fights. Yeah, I can't fuck with it. seventy thousand fights, and you guys are still fighting because you have no reason why. Just pride, like nah, I don't fuck with that. I'm sorry, you guys. It's not pride. It's ego at this point. You guys just don't want to lose just cause. I don't understand their vibe at all. <laughs> oh shit, you guys don't even know that there's time. <laughs> oh, you went for a treat, Zoro. <laughs> so they were just fighting to the death right there and then after a draw they're like all right i'll see you here in a little bit he went like he went and hung out with the dude got alcohol from him and he's like all right i'm gonna go back to my base camp <laughs> Why would they try to attack a giant? <laughs> Me too. There has to be a way around that. どうだ。教皇に奪ってみるか。それじゃダメだよ。俺たちが生きてるのはそこじゃねえんだ。ここの次の島に来てだけなんだよ。な。ほらね。うん。ならば適当に進んでみたらどうだ。考えよけりゃ
だっけな<笑>どうなったんだそいつわかるわけなかろうそれきっと次の島に着いたんだ<笑><笑> You're so adorable <laughs> they're, they're, they aren't, okay? Just let them be. They're just. You're <laughs> <laughs> So, so no hokoria mata, Elba no chin you get cigarette. Eh, no takarananda. I get what they're saying, but I don't think it's pride. It sounds like it's more ego because you guys don't know why you're fighting. You're just doing it because you don't want to lose, and that comes across as ego ish. There is no way number five's explosives are that powerful. Huh? Yo, 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 yo. Uh, it wasn't us. <laughs> I love the fucking confidence, though. Shut up! Don't try to talk no jitsu them out of this. I want to see the fight. Gotta be quicker than that. Oh yeah. His head's probably rock hard, so I know that did some damage. That's fine. We're rubber. That don't hurt us. Could you imagine a giant with the devil fruit power? Okay, so number five and Miss Valentine somehow tampered with the alcohol without us knowing. <laughs> I mean, right, I, I get it, you're not really smart, but okay. Well, what? I'm sorry, but Shikamaru is someone who can't really fight, but uses his brain to make up for it. Seems like you just did a cheeky trick. Hmm. I'm surprised, like, Miss all Did his hair just change? Yeah, cheap tricks. Okay, so you're not smart, boy. <laughs> Oh, 
まずいな時間切れがあ悪いな<笑> Oh, it's so adorable. I want it. Aizuka. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, you guys are gonna have two battles in one day because of your pride, and it's been lasting for a hundred years. Like, it just seems. Is Luffy going to battle for him? Alrighty, well that was it for episode 72 of One Piece. And that was a hard episode for me to enjoy. Um, just because of the Giants mentality. Like, the, I, I get where they're coming from, but there's a difference between pride and ego. And they are definitely leaning on the ego side. Like, ego is definitely about, like, the sense of self. Like, you, like them. They're, they're like, we're fighting. We have no reason. We don't know the reason why we're fighting. But I'm not going to give up on this fight. That is that is a prime example of your ego, is that you're being arrogant. You're not wanting to give up. You're not wanting to admit that there's no reason for you guys to be fighting. You're going to continue to do it because it's important to themselves. It's not about how others perceive them. It's not. It's all about themselves, and that's why I'm saying it's more ego. If it was pride, pride usually comes from something that you've done. Like, you take pride in what you're doing, what you've accomplished, but they haven't done that. So... What pride is there that you that you you're not gonna give up on the fight? No, that's ego. That, like pride is something that you achieve, that you get a sense of. But there's no sense of I'm gonna keep fighting because because that. So unless someone can can clarify it for me a different way, this is coming off very egotistical versus um, pride. So hopefully we get more backstory or something. I don't know. Um, but uh, I'm curious what's going to happen next episode because it, it seemed like Luffy was really determined there at the end. And it seems like he doesn't want the old guy to go fight. But I get that Luffy would let him fight because Luffy's like, oh, it's your fight. I'm not going to interfere. But at the same time, Luffy knows that this guy's been badly injured and it's not going to be a fair fight. And I feel like Luffy is not going to be like, yo, it's not a fair fight. So let me take his place. Um, but... Who knows? Um, probably you guys, but not me. Um, but I do appreciate you sticking around and watching this reaction. It's been real. It's been interesting. It's been real interesting later on.